Oof, people. Um, hello guys, uh, here in central Auckland on Shortland Street, just about to go into Gus Fisher Gallery, uh, which as a building actually has quite an interesting history. I'll probably do like a little uh, talk over, speak over thing about it while showing you the exhibition that I'm about to go to, which is called, what is it called? Happiness is only real when it's shared, which, you know, is a nice sentiment uh, in a way, or perhaps not. I'm not sure. I'm going to go find out. Uh, I really like what um, Gus Fisher tend to do with their space. You know, they do a full transformation. It's not just like a white, uh, you know, white gallery space or a white box space. They usually tend to actually make immersive um, environments, you know, and from what I've seen by a few of the photos, uh, that's what they've done for this show. So I think it's a show of three artists. Um, I'll probably give, a, like I said, a bit, bit more of a background on it when I do like a voiceover later on. Uh, but yeah, it's a show that I've been wanting to see for a while. I think I missed the opening to it because of various some things that happened and then there was a lockdown and now it is April I think it opened probably two months ago or so and it keeps going to May but I will again probably say that somewhere in the description later uh, so yeah let's just head in and see what it's like nice warm Gus Fisher Gallery is housed within the Kenneth Myers Centre, which was originally built in 1934 for one of Auckland's first radio stations, 1YA. It was later converted into a television studio, AKTV2, and was the site of New Zealand's first official television broadcast back in 1960. Upon entering Gus Fisher Gallery, we are met by a collaborative piece by Vanessa Korowski and Kimmy Rindle called Now You See Me, which is an interactive smart mirror which acts much like a smartphone or tablet displaying weather reports, world news and traffic updates. After this, we are then met with the work of Mark Schroeder. The piece is called Fortune Teller and is a maze-like multimedia installation, which is constructed to look like a series of interconnected office cubicles and reflects Mark's day job as a corporate lawyer.
Flanking Mark's work were two video artists. Unfortunately, due to copyright, I was unable to film the videos, but I'll describe them briefly now. The first was Wong Ping's Fables series, which comprises of a series of five animations which are akin to the tales of morality and are also inspired by the Brothers Grimm stories and the Aesop fables. Finally, we have the work of Pindar Yoldas called the Kitty AI Artificial Intelligence Governance, which is an animation of a cat seen here in these posters, which acts as an avatar for the AI which has assumed the first non-human governance. Okay, so that was the exhibition. Uh, unfortunately, they wouldn't let me film like all of it. I filmed parts of the installation in the central area, but then there were uh, some film pieces which, yeah, they wouldn't let me film, which is fair enough, you know, copyright and all that sort of stuff. So, yes, if you enjoyed this, uh, do subscribe down below. Do the like in, uh, you know, comment down below as well. Um, yeah, it's a shame that I couldn't sort of show you the other two pieces, but maybe, yeah, just come along yourself if you can. Uh, cool. Nice one guys, take it easy.